discovery could soon produce real benefits for women suffering from a lethal strain of breast cancer. Utilizing this genetic uh, information will help us um, pick and choose what are the optimal treatments for the future. As researchers explore breast cancer at the cellular level, they looked at the makeup of a form called triple negative. Typically on a breast cancer cell, we expect to see some expression of the female hormones estrogen and progesterone on the surface of the cell that suggest a better nature to the cancer when neither estrogen or progesterone is present at all on the surface of the cell and then a last protein that regulates growth is also missing. These are felt to be very immature or very aggressive types of cancer cells. Triple negative tumors account for 10 to 15 percent of all breast cancers and are more common in younger women and African Americans. Today they're treated like most other breast cancer patients, but that could change. These cells look and appear to have the same genetic abnormalities that are associated with um, ovarian cancer, which may allow for management and treatment with chemotherapy regimens which have been developed to treat ovarian cancer. This finding came from a massive genome project that mapped every mutation of breast cancer. If triple negative is genetically related to ovarian cancer, patients may benefit from less toxic treatments. This may actually afford more treatment options for women that historically have had a very difficult time or poor prognosis. For Lee Memorial Health System, I'm Amy Osher.